You know, I really like tea. Hello, people of the internet. It is me, the one, the only, Kess from Kess Gaming. And today, I'm here to talk with you about Windows 11. Now, I downloaded Windows 11 beta as a Windows Insider, and I love it. I have a video coming out talking about that very soon. But uh, yeah, today we're going to be talking about some tech articles that Google keeps recommending for me. And they're clickbait, guys, and the writers are idiots. Now, as many of you may or may not know, Windows 11 is coming with a few very strict compatibility requirements. Basically, you have to have a TPM chip in your motherboard, which is nothing new. They've been around since, they've been standard. Goodness, since like 2014, 2015. And most people have them already. They just need to go in their motherboard BIOS and turn them on. But that's not, that's not the thing that people are talking about. What they're talking about most is that Microsoft has basically gone through a bunch of different processors and made a list saying, look, these are the processors that we officially support running Windows 11 on. And they're pretty new processors. Like for Intel, it's like only goes back as far as seventh gen. Now, obviously, an i7 6th gen can run Windows 11, all right? It's perfectly capable of doing it. But Microsoft is just saying, here, this is the hardware that we officially support, and we will not support anyone running older Windows hardware. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, that means if you have a computer that has, like, let's say you have, like I said earlier, an i7 processor that's, like, 6th gen, so an i7-6700, all right, and you install Windows 11 on it, and you have some sort of bug or issue, and you try to go to Microsoft support, they'll look at your hardware and be like, oh, sorry, we can't help you because we don't officially support this, okay? That's all that that means. That's literally the whole thing. It's, it's basically the same as if when a new console generation comes out, right? They say, okay, this is the new hardware that we encourage game devs to start using as kind of like the basic floor of what their game should be able to run on, right? It kind of sets like the baseline standard. That's basically all Microsoft is doing here with the CPU list. They're saying, this is what we're targeting for, and this is the stuff that we're going to design for as our new baseline. And anything older than that, we're not going to regard. That does not mean, however, that your old hardware is now worthless and will not be able to run Windows 11. You will be able to run it just fine. That's not what the art writers of these tech articles will have you believe though. The kind of stuff they are saying is absolutely ridiculous. All right, they're putting out articles saying that, oh, Windows update may or may not work on these, on these systems. Oh man, if you install Windows 11 on like your old computer or like your old office computer and, it, and it's not officially supported, then Windows update just won't work and you have these security vulnerabilities and things won't work and compatibility issues. Ah, and it's, it's all bull crap, okay? It is all complete bull crap. All right, the Windows 11 version that you install on unsupported hardware is the exact same as the kind that goes on the supported hardware. All right, all Microsoft was talking about is just that it says, look, this is the hardware that we're gonna develop for, and when we make updates to the operating system, we're going to do that with that in mind. All right, could that cause problems on unsupported hardware? Maybe, sure. But does that mean that the old support hardware is worthless or that there's gonna be all these issues for? No. No, okay? All this is is just fear tactics, all right? So if somebody's told you, Windows 11, you shouldn't install it on older hardware or it'll cause some issues, just stay with Windows 10, no. No, they're wrong. They don't know what they're talking about, okay? It's just a bunch of misinformation being spread around, all right? Now, again, I've run Windows 11's beta and I am running it on supported hardware. And it runs absolutely amazing. But I'm willing to wager that there's probably a lot of people out there who have installed it on older hardware. You know, not, not I'm not talking about like your, your old laptop from 2004 with Windows XP on it. I'm talking like something still fairly recent. Like, right, from like maybe, oh gosh, maybe like that's five years old, right? Let's say you have a computer that you've had since maybe 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. You're trying to tell me that you're not going to be able to run Windows 11 on it just because the processors are on the compatibility list or that Windows update is gonna like be disabled or whatever like people are implying. I'm not buying that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not buying it, guys. This is Microsoft we're talking about, 
Okay, this is the company that's like got a, a track record of always making everything as compatible as possible. Okay, you think they're gonna screw that up? I don't think so. I just, I just don't buy it, guys. I really, really just don't buy it. So yeah, I just wanna make a video talking about that, ranting a little bit, uh, because it really needs to be said. Okay, these, these, these tech articles are just so dramatic, and they're lying. They are lying to you, okay? So yeah, go out there, install Windows 11 on your unsupported hardware, rage against the machine, do what you gotta do, and know that everything is gonna work out just fine. And yeah, I'm actually gonna have a couple of videos coming out about Windows 11 on the channel, a couple of tutorials and stuff, because I just uh, got it and I love it and I wanna talk about it and show other people some cool stuff with it. All right, so yeah, that's basically it, guys. Uh, if you want to like this video, if you liked it, please leave a like, that would be great. If you wanna dislike it because you didn't like it and you think I'm full of it, then do that, I guess. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Till next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming. And I will see you all at the top. Sir, I need you to sign off on- Look at us. Just three people with pants on having a normal conversation. Yep, no story here. <laughs>